fire, turn the world around. We come from the fire, living in the fire. Go back to the fire, turn the world around. We come from the water, living in the water. Go back. The stronger your community, the more rapidly and more effectively they will mobilize to create positive social change. What brought blacks and Jews together at the founding of the NAACP was not that we shared the same religion, but that we shared the same values. Choices we make in our budget are fundamentally moral choices that reflect our core values. To me, Jewish life cannot be imagined without Israel at its core. It's a huge tribute to all of you that members of Congress have actually left Capitol Hill in the middle of a day when they're taking votes. It's my great pleasure to welcome a mensch and a great public servant, Senator Carl Levin. To Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. Ladies and gentlemen, Representative Jan Joukowsky. I give you Nancy Pelosi. And the passage of this hate crimes bill is a real tribute to him, but to all of those, all of those, like the Religious Action Center that worked so hard to pass it. Rabbi Saperstein and the RAC were instrumental in helping us protect a woman's fundamental right to choose. The red bar represents the 0.1% of Americans. Those people in Washington decided that they were gonna repeal the assault weapons ban. And the reporter said, well, really? Are you man enough to run for Congress? Without thinking, I said, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run for Congress, and I'm going to beat that guy that just voted against everybody. Your work reflects a basic truth that your mission is larger than one community, that you help people, not because they are Jewish, but because you are Jewish. And not different. They're not different, they say. They're not different from you. They're not different. The rack helped transform my understanding of Judaism from a social group into a spiritually relevant and civically demanding tradition. I want to pay special tribute and thank the legislative assistants who come to the rack every year and breathe new life and new energy into the coalitions on which they serve. There's no stronger ally than the RAC. We know how to build coalitions of decency, coalitions across faith lines. So we come together in a bipartisan way on many of these issues that are in support of the country and also that I think are important uh, to all of you here, human rights and religious freedom. Those of us who care about real religious freedom and a meaningful separation of church and state would all be poorer were it not for the contributions of the Religious Action Center and its extraordinary work. The amazing work done by all of you involved with Iraq embodies the notion that the world will be a better place when each of us does our own small part to make a positive impact on the world. Should we have any concern for a shifting of and lessening of support for Israel based upon a perceived lower threat. In my lifetime, I've watched Israel confront the challenge of the Six Day War, held my breath during the Yom Kippur War. And I don't think there's been times of greater uncertainty than now. People seem to think that Planned Parenthood does one thing, and that's provide abortions. <laughs> um, it's not about pro-choice, pro-life. It is about women getting the health care they need to live a decent life in this country. The way you talk about the perpetrators, I get the sense that maybe you don't believe in evil. Do you believe in evil? Evil. Evil. When hatred is legitimized, when killing is sanctified and legalized in a community, it is made to look respectful. Let us welcome Al Gore. She's the, the youngest fighter for justice. Say, say woman power. <laughs>